All right, it's Brit, and I have been getting all these um, comments and emails and stuff about how to put basically, it's basically stick figure animations and how to make them or put them on YouTube, and um, so. I've been getting those a lot. I have a fairly popular animation called Stick Figure Attack of the Numbers. I have another one called Stick Figure Skateboarding and then one called Stick Figure Poop Movie. So I get all these different questions and I'm just going to try to break it down for you caveman style and go bit by bit until until you can understand it. Okay, so here, here we go. So. Here I am rocking my desktop, and what you're going to, you're going to want to do is open up Pivot. That is Pivot. So, go ahead and open up Pivot, and so, of course, you go ahead and you make your animation. But a trick I found out was if the next frame button is highlighted like that with those like dots around it then you don't have to go back and press it you can just press enter so I'm going to do the lamest animation ever alright see what that looks like see how quick that was so go up after you're done with your animation, to file. Alright? Which is this one right here. So go up to file, and you'll see save animation. And then this will pop up, this little window here. Don't be frightened, it should. So. File name. I'll name it Big. So, I guess I did a big thing animation sometime. So, we'll name it Big. And see where it says Pivot File? Let me zoom in. Where it says Pivot File. You and Unless you're not done with your animation, don't save it as Pivot File. Save it as a GIF. Not, not a bitmap bitmap a gif so do that save and then this pops up the gif options I found that the frame delay if you save it as one it goes really super fast but if you save it as a seven th I found that that's, that matches your animation pretty well so, we'll do that, and I've never really messed with that, so I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't mess with it. So, saved, and then go ahead and exit, pivot, and if you just saved everything you like you just did, you don't have to save the project as, I just cut, waste more space on your computer. And, if you have a nice editing program like Vegas, like I have, not to be a show off of your braggy, then you can open that animation up there, but most of you are going to be working with Windows Movie Maker. That's, I think, 99% of all PCs have this, so most likely, most likely you have it. If you don't have that, you might have a Mac version of this, which is like super better. But so, open that up. Go to Import Video which will be right there see here import video this big window will pop up on where you're see if you can find your animation so if you can't seem to find it then this will narrow it down see this file type hang on let get focused oh, sorry okay MPEG, MV1, MP2, all that. Click down. You see how we saved it as a GIF? That's how you're going to want to open it up with GIF. 
and see right here it popped up big so double click on the animation it will pop up in the window and you just drag that down into here big long dragging motion into the timeline now if you're really serious about editing or even if you're not doing like a slideshow you always want to work on a timeline and that little magnifying glass is the X if you keep clicking that it makes your animations bigger or it makes them look bigger so it's easier to egg it with so once you do that you know you can press play and watch the animation right there I don't really care to because I don't care about it then you go up to if you want to put music or sound effects where you can down, download sound effects at findsounds.com but I don't wanna and pour audio or music I'm gonna go to my music and I'll do a song that my dad wrote so that right there it's playing right same thing drag that I'm going to drag it and it's going to go right underneath the animation so then you press play it takes a while for my dad song to start but okay so that's basically that press stop I don't really care about all this I'm going to go ahead and edit that this song out I'm just showing you how to do that. It's just gonna make my file size bigger so no offense dad. So there it is. I just accidentally deleted it and I had to put it back in there. So after that go to save to my computer which is right here. And if you can't seem to see it it's probably because this is clicked. And when it looks like that just click on that. Go to save to my computer. This frightening big thing will pop up. Basically, you name your animation, and I just name name it what it has up there, and it's going to save it to my videos. Press next. You don't really need to worry about this next thing that pops up. All this, it's just like information and stuff. So don't worry about that. Oh, where am I? Okay, next. So this is basically saving my animation. It's done finish it plays the animation I have it set to where it does that so X out of that X out of Windows Movie Maker same thing you saved to your computer you don't have to save it there open up go on YouTube now of course you have to have a YouTube account to actually upload things so go to the YouTube front page and up here on this corner right here right there it says upload video click that give it your title description and tags so and then category this would be filming animation now upload video or upload a video go up here to browse and all I have to do is find it here. And if I can just find it. Okay, I'm just going to do this because I'm running out of tape. So, uh, so you find basically you find it there and then you press upload video. It's uploaded, no problems. Upload complete, and you just walk around, do whatever you want to do, and then it'll pop up on your page. So, ah, I I really hope that helped. If it didn't, mail email me, and I'll try to make either a better video or just break it down to you uh, through email. So, uh, I say email, just message, give a comment or message me through YouTube and be sure to check out Afraid of the Dark it's coming on September 22nd September 23rd either one of those um, I, I really do I really do hope this helps and I hope the latest guy could comment 
I forgot his name. Let me check it out. His name is G-A-A-R-A-1303. Check him out. He's cool. So, there you go. I'll show you his name. He's been commenting. I made this video for you, really. So, I hope that helps you out, Gara1303.